I'm so pleased, uh, battling through the adversity that we that we faced, uh, brought a freshman quarterback into a, a tough environment against a, a great defensive coach in, in Coach Patterson, and I thought Will uh, did a great job and uh, managed the game exceptionally well, and uh, uh, did enough for us to be successful. And then, what do you say about the defense? Uh, our guys on defense. Credit to Coach Klanerman, the defensive staff. A phenomenal game plan, executed almost to perfection. Uh, by the guys. I know they're disappointed in the last uh, touchdown right uh, about the four or five minute mark, but uh, uh, they played relentless. Uh, we did a great job rushing the passer. We did a great job covering guys. We get a big pick six by A.J. Parker uh, on a play where they tried to go fast, and uh, I think it confused their own team on it. So couldn't be happier with the resolve of a bunch of guys that came in here when nobody expected us to be successful except for the guys in that locker room. And uh, it's a credit to our, our leaders and it's a credit to our coaches for a great uh, effort today. We'll start here with Derek Young. Coach, I know you want to talk about how well you guys have, have played. I'm really struggling to hear anything, Ryan. We're good. Do you hear me, Coach? Barely. It's just so much background noise over there. I can't hear. And I'm trying to get this thing as high as I can. Try me again, Derek. I'm sorry. I said, I know you want to talk about the performance, but. Yeah, let me unplug this and let's try this again, Derek. Sorry, buddy. I, said, I, know, I know you want to talk about the performance, but what's the timetable on Skylar Thompson at this point? Yeah, we'll talk about Skylar on, on, uh, on Monday. He wasn't available today. Okay. And then your defense is the last nine quarters has barely given up any points. What, what has kind of taken off for them at this point? Well, it's our ability to rush the passer for starters. Uh, we're getting better, and we did a nice job uh, defending the run today. Uh, and then it allowed us to, to you know, get after the quarterback. And we're just we're breaking on balls better. We're making a lot of 50-50 plays, and, and people are making plays. The usage of wide receiver was a lot different today than we've seen in the past. Was there a specific reason for that? Yeah, I, I'll have to find out. There's a number of kids that uh, couldn't go today. So I'm so happy with DJ Render and uh, Landry and, and uh, Seth Porter and Sebastian. Those guys were warriors today and took almost every snap. I don't know what was going on. Thanks, Coach. John Kurtz. Yeah, Chris, I know you mentioned the, the pass rush there, but just how pleased were you with the way the secondary played today also? Yeah, I was really pleased. We played a ton of guys. I think we played four four corners for sure. Played every safety we had, every nickel we had, because it was hot. I mean, it was a it was a grinder, and it was a, we needed to have a lot of bodies out there. And we played four backers. It's so fun to be able to have that many guys contribute and that many guys make impact plays. And so – uh, really played – we didn't pressure very much. We said we're going to play zone uh, and, and try to keep the ball in front of us and try to come up and tackle, and I thought we did a nice job. In a game like this, how important was the, the job that you guys did in the punting game, both just the, the punters and the coverage units not allowing them to do much? If you're asking about the punt game, as I think you were, um, I thought we punted the ball really well. Uh, we did a great job in coverage. We talked about the, the dangerous return specialists that they had. Uh, and they weren't a team that was going to go for blocks. They were going to try to get returns. And uh, I thought we punted the ball extremely well. And then we were able to get off some coverage things and, and get down there and force some fair catches. And, and that was that was really important. We won that battle. And then we got a big punt return ourselves. So that was good. Thanks, Chris. You bet. Ryan Black. Hey, uh, Chris, you know, he maybe didn't have uh, the kind of game that he's been having, uh, but I mean, Deuce Vaughn had a few big plays, and especially there on that that last drive after they scored, just how, how big was it for him to be able to make something out of nothing on a couple of plays and give you guys some first down to chew up clock? Yeah, I was happy for, for Deuce because he had to play a, a grinded out big time Big 12 football game, and uh, he did a great job. He, got, he was able to get a lot of tough yards. That's a, that's a tremendous, tremendous defense that uh, we just faced today. And it wasn't perfect by any means, but it was, it was good enough to win and be able to continue to learn and get better from. And, and I thought uh, um, we did a nice job uh, at times rushing the football with, with Deuce and, and Harry and, and Tyler and stuff. And, um, you know, we'll be better because of the experience we had today uh, with, with really uh, – Will getting his first start and, and so many so many wide receivers down and we, we played everybody that we could and, and I was pleased. 
And then, you know, Chris, after the first three games were more shootout type kind of games. With you being a defensive coach, how much do you love a game like today where it's more about the defense and field position and things like that? Well, I really enjoy that. But, you know, last week, you know, it's 24-21. That isn't really much of a shootout either. I think that's a pretty good – if you can hold people to under under 25 points in this league, you're playing really good defense. And, uh, it was a game of field position and a game of defense. And, and for us to bang it down and put it at the three or four on that last drive was critical. Uh, but uh, it, that's – I told our guys uh, after we beat Texas Tech, we're going to grind some wins out. And we're going to grind some games out. There's not a group of guys that I'd rather grind with uh, than the group in that locker room. Let's go next to Michael. Yeah, Coach, your defense really seemed to square up on hits and uh, keep containment really well. What's your assessment on that? I think we did. I don't have – I'm just going to try to check the stats in front of me. But uh, yards after contact, I thought we improved as the game went along. Um, you know, they had uh, 340 yards, and that's a pretty good effort. But uh, I thought we, we really, really ran through contact well. I know we – I'm sure that the quarterback is going to be sore because we hit him an awful lot. And, and Eli hit him one time on the sideline, and I think he went out for a series or two. But uh, um, I just, I'm just i pleased with us playing faster on defense uh, as well as you know tackling better and, and getting guys to the football. How far has A.J. Parker come in his role at Nickelback? He's done a really good job, uh, and he's learning uh, – a bunch and I think you guys might be able to tell me this I think he played nickel here early on um, in, in his tenure before we arrived here and I thought uh, it was a good move for us to move him to nickel we moved Will Jones back to nickel because it's such an impact position and Will came in and did some good things too but it was so fun to have those two guys uh, making some plays and then we uh, we had Keandre back at corner Justin Gardner's getting better uh, we're playing TJ and Ross and Wayne and J-Mac. We're playing so many guys. We're just pleased with the secondary of all. Okay, we got four hands raised. We're going to get through these real quick, starting with Jackson. Hey, Coach, just based on how everything started in week one, just how far has the team come in every aspect? Come a long ways uh, from week one. And uh, we hit kind of a reset button after that game. And, and – um, chalk it up to a lot of things. Uh, great leadership uh, by our seniors and by our older kids. Um, guys uh, realizing that we needed to correct some things, and, and uh, I, I kind of challenged the guys, and they accepted the challenge. I love the I love those guys. I love our players because they like it when when we challenge them, and they accepted the challenge. And we continue to try to get better every day. Uh, are we going to be perfect every day? No, but. Uh, um, it's hard to beat a team that refuses to lose. And, and those guys right now believe they have an opportunity to win every game. Do you think that maybe that week one loss has now pushed the team even further in the right direction now three weeks later? Who knows? You know what? That's why you, you got to play full 60 minutes. And uh, if you don't play great for, for 60 minutes, you're probably going to get beat. So, um, I don't know. Thanks, Coach. You bet. Go next to Steven. Hey, Chris, on, on the third and one there at the end where we're full down, if he had made it, I mean, if he – did you think about going for it after he tripped up? No, we were playing too good a defense, but great question. Great question. Um, we were just playing so good on defense, and I thought we could pin him back down there. Um, I feel bad because I think Will had the first down and, and, he, and uh, kind of tripped up a little bit, but uh, – um, you know, we have to punt the football there. I was not going to go for it and give him a short 40 or 50 yard field. I was going to make him drive the length. And the one other thing I was going to ask, you mentioned at the very beginning is how Will handled himself against the Gary Patterson defense. What was it that you think he was able to do? I mean, obviously the numbers aren't spectacular, but he did a solid job. Well, he changed some plays an awful lot because they pressured him once they figured out that he was going to play the whole game. They pressured him quite a bit. And I thought he did a really nice job getting us into some good checks. Uh, he threw a couple of strikes, one to one to Deuce and, and really one to um, – we had a tight end coming down the seam. I think it got reviewed where we'd have a first and goal inside the five. So he made a couple of really good throws. He's going to learn and get better uh, from it. You're talking about a true freshman coming into TCU – and his first start is against a uh, Gary Patterson coach defense. That's a pretty tall task, and I thought he did a great job. All right, thanks, Chris. You bet. Last one here, Fitz. 
Yeah, Coach, um, you alluded to this a little bit ago, but uh, talk about the physicality you played with and how you bottled up Max Dugan all day long. Our kids really played hard, and that's one thing that uh, I give our guys credit for is, is they, they just play so dang hard. And, and one of the best compliments that I received today is from a guy that I – have the ultimate respect for and that's Jerry Kill. And Jerry came up after the game and said, boy, your kids do just what I thought they'd do. They play so hard. And uh, um, what a great compliment from one of the icons uh, in the state of Kansas and Jerry Kill to say that to, to me. So uh, we, we're playing more physical. We can continue to be better on defense. We can continue to be better uh, in all phases. And I think that's the thing I'm excited about is our guys know that they can be better in all three phases.